Assalamualaikum Waalaikumsalam Welcome to a new edition of our program, May Peace Be Upon You. And in this edition of our program, we will talk about the sacred month of Rajab. Rajab is the time to prepare for Ramadan uh, spiritually, mentally, and physically. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also said that month of Rajab is the month of absolution. So it is important to seek forgiveness from Allah in order to gain purification and divine nearness. And to talk more about this sacred month, we are joined today by our dear guest, Dr. Saeed Kishkan, Islamic researcher at Al-Azhar. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Shireen, and to all respected viewers, kul amun wa hadaratikum bi khair. Sir, uh, may you please uh, tell us more about uh, the sacred months. All praises to Allah, may Allah peace and the blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions, and upon all previous Prophet, Moses and Jesus Abraham, we are Muslim, we make no difference among all of them. Alhamdulillah, let the Jalan a Muslimin, thanks to Allah that Allah make us as a Muslim and characterize us as a moderate and just Ummah. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran إِنَّ عِدَّةَ الشُّهُورِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ إِثْنَا عَشَرَ شَهْرًا فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ يَوْمَ خَلَقَ اللَّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ مِنْهَا أَرْبَعَةٌ حُرُمْ إِنَّ عِدَّةَ الشُّهُورِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ إِثْنَا عَشَرَ شَهْرًا فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ يَوْمَ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ مِنْهَا أَرْبَعَةٌ حُرُمْ ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ فَلَا تَظْلِمُوا فِيهِنَّ أَنفُسَكُمْ In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Indeed, the number of months with Allah is 12 months in the register of Allah, the day He created the heavens and the earth of these four are sacred. That is the correct religion, so do not wrong yourselves during them. The Sunnah in Islam always comes to clarifies and illustrates what comes in Quran as a general. So the Quran mentions what are these four sacred monsters by number, minha arba'atun hurum, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Then the Sunnah comes to illustrates and clarifies and mention them by name. In the farewell speech of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he illustrates that in عِدَّةَ الشُّهُورِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ إِثْنَا عَشَرَ شَهْرًا that the Islamic calendar, the lunar calendar, consists of 12 of 12 months. مِنْهَا أَرْبَعَةٌ حُرُمْ Out of these four 12 months, there are four sacred months. And then the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned them by name, saying that ثَلَاسٌ مُتَوَالِيَاتٍ ذُو الْكَعْدَةِ وَذُو الْحِجَّةِ وَمُحَرَّمٍ which is three consecutive months, ذُو الْكَعْدَةِ وَذُو الْحِجَّةِ وَمُحَرَّمٍ These are three sacred months that they come consecutive in the Islamic calendar. 
ذو القعدة وذو الحجة ذو القعدة is the eleventh month of Islamic calendar ذو الحجة is the twelfth and the last month of the Islamic calendar and the month of Muharram which is the first month of Islamic calendar so these are three consecutive months of the sacred months and the fourth of these four sacred months are Rajab and Mudar as the Prophet Muhammad said <laughs> في كتاب الله يوم خلق السماوات والأرض منها أربعة حرم ذلك الدين القيم فلا تظلموا فيهن أنفسكم In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Indeed, the number of months with Allah is 12 months in the register of Allah the day he created the heavens and the earth of these four are sacred. That is the correct religion, so do not wrong yourselves during them. The month of Rajab is one of these four sacred months according to hadith of the Prophet Muhammad And the sacred months, or al-ashhur al-hurum in Islam, these four sacred months in Islam, call sacred months because two re of two reasons. Fighting in these four sacred months is totally prohibited and forbidden in Islam. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الشَّهْرِ الْحَرَامِ قِتَالٌ فِيهِ قُلْ قِتَالٌ فِيهِ كَبِيرٌ Which means that fighting during the four sacred months is a major sin inside of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So accordingly, Muslim cannot initiate a battle or a war or a fighting during these, months, during these four sacred months except if the enemy starts with that if the enemy attack Muslims community, so in that way, Muslims are allowed and permitted to defend themselves. But sacred months in Islam, it means that we cannot initiate or start a battle or a war or a fighting during these four sacred months, as Allah, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. O oh, Muhammad, they ask you about, this, uh, about the, the sacred months. O oh, Muhammad, they ask you about al-ashhur al-hurum. Yes'alunak an al-shahr al-haram. So say, يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الشَّهْرِ الْحَرَامِ قِتَالٌ فِيهِ قُلْ قِتَالٌ فِيهِ كَبِيرٌ O oh Muhammad, they ask you about fighting during these four sacred months. O oh Muhammad, say that fighting during these four sacred months is a major sin in sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, the first reason why we call it four sacred months is because fighting during these four sacred months is prohibited and forbidden in Islam. As we said that, except if the enemy start uh, attack, so in that case Muslims, are allowed and permitted to defend their land and to defend themselves as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَقَاتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُونَكُمْ وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَحُبُّ الْمُعْتَدِينَ which means fight for the sake of Allah for those who are fighting you and don't transgress as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never loves those who exceed the limits of Allah or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never loves those who are transgressors <laughs> the plants and trees, he created the birds and bees, he created the oceans and seas, some of his many bounties. The second reason why we call them sacred months or al-ashhur al-hurum, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that فَلَا تَظْلِمُوا فِيهِنَّ أَنفُسَكُمْ which means don't wrong yourself is during these four sacred months. إِنَّ عِدَّةَ الشُّهُورِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ اثْنَا عَشَرَ شَهْرًا فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ يَوْمَ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ مِنْهَا أَرْبَعَةٌ حُرُمْ ذلك الدين القيم فلا تظلموا فيهن أنفسكم. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Indeed, the number of months with Allah is 12 months in the register of Allah, the day He created the heavens and the earth. Of these four are sacred. That is the correct religion, so do not wrong yourselves during them. In Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيَخْتَارُ Allah creates whoever He wishes and chooses whatever He wishes. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
creates all cities, but he chooses the city of Mecca as a sacred place. In that the first place or the first mall that be built for Allah to be worshipped is in Mecca. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses Mecca among from all among all of these cities as a sacred place. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose four sacred months out of the twelve months of Islamic calendar. Minha Arbaatun Hurum. One of these four sacred months, the months of Rajab, as we said, and other three, which is three consecutive months, Zul Qa'dah, Wazul Hijjah, Wa Muharram, as we said. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says during these four sacred months, فَلَا تَظْلِمُوا فِيهِنَّ أَنفُسَكُمْ Don't wrong yourself as during these four sacred months. Which means that during these four sacred months, don't wrong yourself as. Because, which means that never ever, commit, never ever commit a sin during these four sacred months. Actually, committing a sin is a sin. But committing a sin during these four sacred months is more worse inside of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for committing the sins in other, in other days, in other months. Exactly as if you commit the sin during the months of Ramadan is even more worse and even worse than committing a sin in other months. And if someone commit or drinking, for example, alcohol during the months of Ramadan, is, this is, drinking alcohol is prohibited. But drinking alcohol in Ramadan during the months of Ramadan or during the four sacred months is more worse in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than drinking alcohol for any other sin, for any other month. Like exactly committing a sin in a sacred place in Mecca is more worse in sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of committing the same sin. It is a sin and both of them are evil, which is any sin is, is evil in sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but committing a sin during this during these days or during these months that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses as a sacred month yes. or during or committing this sin in a place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen as a sacred place even is worse in the inside of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The level of the gravity for this um, the level of the gravity of committing a sin in a sacred place or during a sacred month is even more worse than committing a sin in other days, in any other months, or uh, during, or committing a sin in any other places. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirmed that either فَلَا تَظْلِمُوا فِيهِنَّ أَنفُسَكُمْ Don't wrong yourself during these four sacred months. So you need to be victorious over your shaitan, or over, over the satan, over your desires. Get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never ever neglect Allah's message, during, particularly during these four sacred months. Get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, recite some of the Qur'an, make a good deeds as much as you can during these four sacred months, and at the same time abstain from any committing any bad deeds or committing any sins during these uh, four sacred months as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us. <laughs> في كتاب الله يوم خلق السماوات والأرض منها أربعة حرم ذلك الدين القيم فلا تظلموا فيهن أنفسكم In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Indeed, the number of months with Allah is 12 months in the register of Allah the day he created the heavens and the earth of these four are sacred. That is the correct religion, so do not wrong yourselves during them. Abstain from committing any sins during these four sacred months is highly recommended in Islam. And committing the sin during these four sacred months or committing the sin in any sacred place or during these four sacred times that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses is um, as we said, is more worse and it's worst uh, for the side of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why during these months, during these four sacred months, we should, we have a form of patience called as-sabru al al-masiyah, which is to be patient, which is a great type of patience in Islam, which is to be patient on committing a sin, to, to abstain committing sin, to delay committing sin, Till inshallah, gradually you will have enough iman to avoid it totally. 
So as a sabr totally, which is patience, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always described it in the Quran as an attribute for those who are companions of the right hand, for those who are the people of the paradise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Balad, for example, described the people as Ashab al maymana the people of the companion of the right hand, the companion of the right hand, and the companion of the left hand. The companion of the right hand in Quran, which means that the people of paradise. Yes. And Allah mentioned them, وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالصَّبْرِ وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالْمَرْحَمَةِ Which is they are advise each others with patience and advise each others with المرحمة or compassion between each other. Dear viewers, the show break and we'll be back, so stay tuned. In the الشهور عند الله اثنا عشر شهرا في كتاب الله في كتاب الله يوم خلق السماوات والأرض منها أربعة حرم ذلك الدين القيم فلا تظلموا فيهن in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Indeed, the number of months with Allah is 12 months in the register of Allah, the day He created the heavens and the earth of these four are sacred. That is the correct religion, so do not wrong yourselves during them. Since the beginning of time, fighting has been forbidden during the sacred months. The sequence of the sacred months protected pilgrims to the uh, Al-Kaaba both before the advent of Islam and during its early days. They were divinely designed to allow pilgrims safe passage to and from Mecca during the Hajj season. Rajab is one of the four sacred months prescribed by Allah the Almighty. It is the seventh month of the Islamic Hijri calendar and considered the month of Allah for its virtue and status as a sacred month. Rajab is the seventh month of the Islamic Hijri calendar and one of the four sacred months as ordained by Allah the Almighty. The month precedes the month of Sha'ban and holy month of Ramadan and contains many benefits and virtues for worshippers due to some of the most precious days in the Islamic calendar occurring in this month. Welcome back, dear viewers, and we are still hosting our dear guest, Dr. Saeed Kishkan, Islamic researcher at Al-Azhar, and he is talking to us about the holy month of Rajab. Yes, Dr. Said. Thank you for having me, Dr. Shireen, and the respective viewers continue talking about the importance and the significance of such great months, the months of Rajab, of such great months of the sacred months of Islam, of such a great night journey that takes place during that month of Rajab. Salamu alayhi alaykum wa rahmatu wa barakatuh. What are the recommended deeds in the sacred month of Rajab? Arab before the advent of Islam used to respect the months of Rajab. And even they used to offer a sacrifice um, in the sake, uh, they used to, uh, you know, offer a sacrifice called the Latirata for the sake of the months of Rajab. When Islam came, so Islam um, honor the months of Rajab and make it one of the sacred months, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbids Muslims to offer sacrifice for the sake of Rajab. And in fact, there is no specific hadiths. There is no specific as in the Quran that tells Muslims to do a specific act during the month of during the month of Rajab, or um, or to fast on the 27th of Rajab, or in the middle of the month of Rajab, or to pray a specific prayer at the beginning of the month of Rajab. All of this is um, is baseless in Islam. There is no ayat. There is no authentic hadiths that mentions Muslims or command Muslims to do specific deeds or specific good deeds um, for the sake or during the month of Rajab. But actually, ulama, the, major, the majority of scholars agree that the month of Rajab is kind of blunting. Shahrul al-Zara, the month of Rajab, 
should be the first serious step to prepare yourself for the month of Ramadan as a spiritual journey. They say that a spiritual journey should start during the month of Fajr. Muslim should prepare himself physically and spiritually and mentally for the month of Ramadan. For the greatest guest for the holiest month during for the holiest month which is month of Ramadan, in which all of us should we uh, prepare ourselves for our for all our sins can be forgiven during the month of of Ramadan as Khaba wa Khasir man Adraka Ramadan wa lam yughfar lahi is a great loser for whoever witnessed the month of Ramadan and Allah never forgives his sins. So that's great months needs Muslims or every one of us need to prepare himself spiritually and physically. So scholars said that the month of Rajab is a month of planting. And the month of Ramadan, the month of Shaban is the month of watering this plant. And the month of Ramadan actually should be the month of enjoying the harvest. Yes. A Muslim should not plant and water and enjoy or taste the sweets of, of the fruits during the month of Ramadan actually. The majority of scholars said that you have to prepare yourself during the month, starting with the month of Rajab, the month of planting your seeds. And then the month of Shaban is a kind of the month of watering and taking care of these seeds, getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, prepare yourself more to Allah toward the month of Ramadan. And then the month of Ramadan actually should be the month of the harvest, should be the month where Muslims should enjoy the fruits should taste the sweetness of getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A lot of people during the month of Ramadan who start to blend and water and during um, starting that spiritual journey with the first night of the month of Ramadan, actually they get tired and exhausted after about five or one week of the month of Ramadan because they need or they were need to prepare themselves as long time ago before the month of Ramadan. And this is a life, I mean, even for, for if we wanted to prepare ourselves for any graduation or any ceremony in this life, we are preparing a way longer from it. So what about the months of Ramadan, the Muslims should prepare themselves spiritually and physically. That's why during the months of Rajab, it's okay to do whatever you can do with a good deeds. You can do a lot of good deeds. You can start to make a schedule for yourself recite some of the Holy Quran, get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, praise a night prayer, yes. fast on Mondays and Thursdays, fast whatever, if you'd like, if you can fast as much as you can during the month of Rajab, but you cannot say, or you don't do so for the sake of month of Rajab. You just do so as a kind of preparation, you prepare yourself for the month of Ramadan, as a kind of um, starting the spiritual journey, in order to plant your seeds during this month of the month of Rajab, and then you're gonna water during the month of Shaban. So if you fast, for example, during the month of Rajab, twice a week, so during the month of Shaban you need to fast more. You need to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more. You can fast three times a, day, a week during the month of Shaban. If you pray night prayer for about twice a week, so in that way, the month of Shaban, you should get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, 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 for example, um, pray uh, three times or four times for night prayer during the month of Shaban, which means that the good deed should be increased gradually. Your iman should be increased gradually from the month of Rajab to the month of Shaban. So you plant your seeds during the month of Rajab, you start the spiritual journey during the month of Rajab, prepare yourself gradually during the month of Rajab. And then during the month of Shaban, you get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Get enough iman to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fast more, pray more, give more sadaqah, give more zakah, you know, make visiting your relatives more. So get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as you can. So during the month of Ramadan, you will find you will have enough iman to do more and more, to break camp, to break the tarawih, to fast every day, to recite the Quran day and night, so at that time, you will start to taste the sweetness of the Iman. You will start to find, to enjoy the fruits of the Iman. But for, unfortunately for the majority of Muslims, we can find that those who are the majority of Muslims, they are, they are trying to plant and water and enjoy the harvest during the month of, of Ramadan. For whoever do so, actually they start and get exhausted and tired after about three or five or even a week of the first week of the month of Ramadan. 
So we can find a lot of people, they are fasting and they are going to pray Fajr prayer during, um, during Ramadan. And they make Salat Taraweeh for the first, and, and for the first mo week, for example, during the month of Ramadan. And then they get tired and then they get exhausted because they do not prepare themselves as well, starting from the month of Fajr. That's why scholars say that it's, a, it's not okay for a Muslim to do any good deeds for the sake of Fajr because there is no authentic hadith, no authentic ayah that tells a Muslim or recommends a Muslim to do something during the month of Fajr. But it's okay to start your spiritual journey to prepare yourself for the month of Ramadan. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Indeed, the number of months with Allah is 12 months in the register of Allah, the day He created the heavens and the earth of these four are sacred. That is the correct religion, so do not wrong yourselves during them. Uh, I'd like to thank you, uh, Dr. Saeed Kish, an Islamic uh, researcher at Al-Azhar. Thank you for being with us. Thanks, Dr. Shreem, for having me. Until next episode of your program, Peace be upon you, dear respected viewers. Salam alaykum alaykum wa rahmatuhu wa barakatuh. And uh, by that, dear viewers, we come to the end of today's edition of our program, Peace be upon you. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam.